Hello again. We're here at the Marina Equestrian Association Center and I'm here again with my uh, gelding Brody and he's going to help me do a demonstration on grooming tools and how we use them. Um, you can tell it's close to his dinner time. His mind is on something else at the moment, but he's usually a pretty good sport. So, and he actually likes to be groomed. Um, we have several different tools that we use when grooming, depending on whether we're dealing with mud, dust, etc. These two brushes here are called curry combs. This is a rubber curry comb and a metal curry comb. And the curry combs are really good when you have mud or sweat that's caked on them. You can use it in a circular motion to kind of loosen up the mud and grime. So the rubber curry comb works very well for that. Um, the metal curry comb is the same. You can use it to get mud off. It also helps horses lose their coats in the, um, they shed out their coats for summer where they get a shorter coat and then they shed out their summer coats when winter comes and grow a thicker coat. So the metal curry comb is also very good um, when your horse is shedding for removing um, the dead hairs. And um, this is one of the brushes that I use when I'm dealing with that. Um, Brody has his summer coat on right now, although you can see the fog in the background. And he's gonna be getting ready soon in the next couple weeks to actually, um, he'll lose some of his summer coat and his winter coat is gonna come in. So that's gonna happen soon. Um, usually it happens anywhere from September to um, late October. And sometimes depending on the weather and the day daylight hours affects that. So right now he has a fairly short coat and I like to use uh, bristle brushes and they come in um, sable and then some are just nylon. But when you're brushing a horse, the one thing you wanna remember is to go with the flow of the hair. So you just follow the hair the way it goes and just that's how you do it. And their coat, sometimes they have colics in it. So you just continue to go with the hairline. Um, I know with the curry I was doing round things, that's when there's mud stuck. But when you're getting to the point where you're using a, a soft brush to remove the dirt, not just loosen it, you're going to go with the way the hair goes. And they actually like their bellies brushed parts of the horses. This is their withers. And a lot of horses, you can scratch their withers and they really like this. I guess it's an itchy spot that they can't always reach. So um, I'm going to brush his withers and try to get some of the dust and dirt off and down his legs. This is probably the brush I use 90% of the time. So that's how this brush works. And he doesn't seem to be minding this much. This one's a little bit smaller and it's softer. And I tend to use this one for his face or his sensitive areas. Uh, once again, you have colic, so you just kind of brush with the way the coat goes. Sometimes they like their faces brushed, sometimes they don't. Brody doesn't seem to mind. This little piece of hair here is called a horse's forelock. And they also have a mane which is right here. And there is actually a special brush that you can use to brush his mane. And this one, it almost looks like just a hairbrush, a strong hairbrush. And so this is his mane. We are going to brush that. You can see all the dirt coming off of it. Sometimes they can get tangled. Now, maybe when, you're, when you were a child, your mother brushed your hair and it hurt and you said, ouch, and you're being too rough. Horses actually don't have nerves, so they don't feel it. So they, you, if you pull on their mane, it does not hurt them. So I can kind of brush him without worrying too much about that. And every once in a while, the mane wants to go to the other side and I just brush it back over. Now I'm gonna brush Brody's tail. I found I have better luck if I start at the bottom and kind of work the tangles out there and then just kind of go up a little further. Brody, stop eating the wood. <laughs> and sometimes it takes a little while to get all these tangles out. But keeping their tail healthy is a good thing. Okay, one last um, tool that I use that's very important to a horse is a hoof pick. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to pick a horse's hoof. 
uh, rocks or mud or dirt and debris can get stuck in their hooves. So it's good to pick their hooves every time before you ride. And um, Bernie's pretty good about lifting his leg. When I ask him to lift, I'll just run my hand down his leg and he pops it right up. And I don't know if you can get a good look at this. This is his frog. It looks like a V. And so what we want to do is get any debris out of there. And I use the pick, I kick it away from my body. And then I have a clean hoof. Let me check his back hoof. Brody has shoes on his front feet, but not on the back. And there's his back hoof. His hoofs are pretty clean today, so. But you can take a look at what a clean hoof looks like. And no rocks today. So thank you for joining us and I hope you're all staying safe with COVID and um, looking forward to sharing more horse information with you from the Marina Equestrian Association.